What's up, everybody? It is the Big Game Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last part, we made our way through a bit more of Area 2. We captured another one of the portrait ghosts who I really, really hated because of his backstory as to what he is. And we unlocked a few more rooms. As you can see, we have the key to the room up there by the washrooms. Now, before I do anything, I took the liberty of coming back to the mirror room because, if you remember from the last part, there were a few boos that I did not get because they went into a room I could not go into. So we are going to come back and we are going to find them. If I can find them. Alright, back to Kumbu. Rematch! Come on, come on. Aha! Alright. Unbelievable, there's no stopping you, Luigi. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data, alright? Very good. And I'm saving just because in case something happens to the recording, I want to be absolutely sure that I do not lose anything and have to go Go! Uh, I already have some of this. Alright, so with that said and done, I'm actually going to meet you in the other room because I did miss another boo. I will see you in just a little bit. Alright, so we are back in the butler's room, because this was the second location where I missed a boo, missed out on a boo, because again, it went into a room I cannot go into, so hopefully it will not happen this time. Peekaboo, I see you again! Alright, come on, come on, come on, very easy. And there we go! Very, very good, alright. And you guys just tell me about the fire elements, even though I've already used the fire elements numerous times in the last video. So, uh, let's just head on out into the next area. Yeah, stupid ceiling spray. You know what? Screw you! I say screw you, good sir! <sighs> good lord! Have enough ghosts already? Jeez! was weird. I thought it had... I wonder, does the piano music come from the conservatory, or does it come when Shivers is? And if so, why was it playing when Shivers was there, even though I already captured him? But anyways, I actually really do like this room, because I'm going to shut up for a minute to show you why. Bang on the instrument. Oh, yeah. Mario fan knows that. Anyways, meet our next portrait ghost. This is Melody. My name is Melody. People call me the spectral beauty of the ivory keys. What a stirring performance. I haven't been so charmed by such a piece for ages. You must have, have a delicate ear for music. Would you like to listen to my piano sonata? Well, only if it's an eternal sonata. Well, here I go. By the way, what image does that piece composer heard in mind right now? Alright, so this is basically something she sa uh, happens. Uh, she will play you one of three songs, uh, and basically you have to answer them. Pretty much as Nintendo stroking its own ego because they're all Mario related. Uh, if you listen to this, it's actually the song of the water levels for the Super Mario Bros. game. Exactly right, you have got it! Very impressive, I guess I need to hold back with you. Now, what I really like is the fact that. Uh, if you mess up, uh, she bangs on the on her piano saying, You idiot! How could you not know this stuff? Well, there goes my gold granny on her. Because I wanted to freaking explain. I think that's going to be the first time I got screwed out getting a big pearl. Uh, Melody is not that too... Not that difficult, as you can see. Capturing her is very, very easy, and... Did I actually get the big pearl? Ah, I actually got the big pearl on it, even though I broke the connection on the first uh, sucking. Huh. And that was a very poor choice of words. <laughs> uh, let's just check over here. Are you in here? Yes, you are! Wherefore, wherefore am I? 
I didn't catch it, its name because it went too fast. No, 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 no! Okay, haha. -ha. You do not escape my grasp. Now, as I was saying, uh, if you do not answer the question correctly, something pretty funny happens. Is basically she bangs on her piano saying, You idiot, how could you not know this? Uh, pretty much more Nintendo stroking his own ego. Um, and another thing, Melody here was the ghost that Shivers had a crush on. I believe, I kid you not. If you look up his file and all that stuff on him, uh, yeah, Shivers had a crush on her. I might as well just leave this room in style. Alright, so... Huh. I guess it was Melody playing the piano in the air that I heard. Because I, I thought that thing only appeared when Shivers was around, but I guess it was wrong. It was Melody who made the music. Anyways! Welcome to the dining room. And you can hear a familiar sound in... Holy oh, jeez! Meet Mr. Lugs. Mr. Lugs? He seems to be a very healthy eater, and by healthy eater, I mean he eats very well. This guy is made up of ectoplasm and butter. Lots and lots of butter! Anyways, to make this guy visible, we pretty much have to do the same we have to do with shivers, and we have to light his candles. That makes him now visible, and what we have to do is pretty much just suck on his food, and pretty much steal from him. Now, it's gonna cause a couple of these waiter girls. I really hate these things because they're somewhat of an annoyance to capture, for me at least. Here we go, saying they're in. Case in point of there being annoyance. It's so, so it's not like Pikmin. Anyways, we suck them up, and that pretty much keeps them from uh, bringing the food back. Is there anything here? Yes, there is. Very good, very good. Uh, before we capture Mr. Lugs, though, I almost forgot. Thank goodness I remembered. We don't want to open up our map. We want to take our camera. Might as well capture it. To get the coin here. Want to take a picture? Cheese underneath the chair. Another golden mouse. Captured a little bugger, and thank you very much. I wonder if we can actually reach. Uh, we probably won't be able to reach in seven. I was thinking of reaching around. Maybe I can reach 350 coins and maybe 250. Well, not 250. Uh, maybe 300 bills by the end of. Uh, by before beating the second boss. Hopefully that will happen, but it probably won't. Alright, now what we want to do is just pretty much steal the rest of his food off him. It's very helpful if you steal the tablecloth, because that way it doesn't get in your way. And I can't really tell where there's a good area to steal the food from. There we go. Uh, come on. Come on. Do I even do anything? There we go. What we want to do... Mr. Lugs, people are actually considering to be a tough... Bosco's, uh, not Bosco's, uh, Portrigo's. Uh, basically, we steal his food, and uh, he's going to uh, start spitting fireballs. I mean, I absolutely love the fact that he hits, he, not hits, he wears on a Hawaiian shirt and he's so fat. Probably because it's the only thing that fits him. Uh, basically, he's going to continue spitting fireballs, just avoid them at all costs, and... Uh, we have to wait. After a certain number of fireballs he spits at you, hopefully he will be done soon. Um, come on. Okay, there we go. He gets very tired, and we must... That's our perfect chance to suck him. Now, people consider him to be a pretty tough portrait ghost because of the big table in the middle of the room. Uh, basically, if we coax him into a corner, he can break the connection, and we get screwed out of the big pearl. What is Mr. L I don't know why, but Mr. Lux's voice sort of reminds me of another enemy. Alright, come on, come on! I probably got a silver ranking on this guy. And with that, and for defeating him, he is an actually an optional boss because you do not have to beat him to uh, complete the game. However, if we do defeat him, uh, we get a since I can capture it. Silver diamonds! Silver diamonds are really, really good. They're the second hot, most valuable item in the game. So it's really, really helpful that we capture them for a score. Alright, now let's see if we can find the freaking boo. Is there anything here? Nope. No. 
Where is it? Chair. There it is. My name's Bulicious. Got it. I don't find your name very appetizing. Very good. Gotcha. I can't believe I'm actually doing so good on the booze in the last video. I, they literally stepping away, getting away from me every last second as in one HP, which I, which I jinxed in the saying that it's gonna be the running theme of this. Anyways, we got possessed pottery. Oh, not pottery. Uh, kitchenware. So we can suck this up. S suck that up too. I do know that there is a speedy spirit in this room. I believe we checked this. Oh. No. no. I do know that there is a speedy sp speedy spirit in this room. I believe we have to check. Oh no, wait. It's not in here. It's in. The it's in the oven. Check the oven. Speedy spirit. Very good! So far, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't lost a single Speedy Spirit, and now watch. Just as I said, I'm probably going to miss at least two or three Speedy Spirits by the end of this project. Just watch. It's going to happen! Alright, now I believe in here... Check the fridge! Ow! Probably should have sucked on the fridge. Uh, it's Ice Elemental goes, so we have to burn him. Then we can capture him. And very good. We check this, and it gives us our next me element medal, which is the water element. Hey, now, Luigi, what have you stumbled across? Oh, this time it's a water element medal. Now you can use water element. My research shows that particular elemental ghosts have leave their watery dwellings whenever you approach. You know the drill. Vacuum them up. Alright, so, pretty much talking about the water elementals and all that stuff. Now, water elemental, water that we can now control actually has more than one function other than putting out fire um, and, ca and using it against certain elemental ghosts. Um, because water element, water actually has a second function. It's a really good way of getting money because there's actually some certain... Uh, Coins that we can only get by using water, which we'll be get, probably be getting into in the next episode. Uh, video. Mm -hmm. Great. Just great. Alright, come on. Come on, there you. you what the? Okay, for a second he had zero HP and yet I wasn't capturing him. Alright, so. Very good. Still creepy Luigi sprite on the save screen. So, let's just head on out into the backyard. And believe it or not, there's another portrait ghost. Meet Spooky the Dog. Woof woof. Yeah, he has a lot to say. Uh, before we do anything that has to deal with Spooky over there, uh, we want to do we want to do something real quickly. As you can see, this little thing that sort of looks like a caterpillar sticking on the ground. We want to water this. It's actually a seed. And do so watering it. Good sound, and it's got leaves! Leaves! Uh, it's, that's actually something very important. It, it will give you us a great reward by the end of this game. Trust me on that. And what we want to do is we want to fill up the little doggy bowl. I said fill the doggy bowl. There we go. Now what we want to do is avoid the dog. Crap. Crap. Uh, we t I think he lunges at us maybe four or five times. Maybe three times? Nope, four or five. I actually do like the design. Okay, yeah, three times. And I like it. Mr. Bones! We're crying out loud! Shut up that mangy mutt! Doing so, capturing him, releases his leg, and uh, makes Spooky very vulnerable. We can now capture him. Come on, come on, come on! Peter's probably gonna have my head for this, but eh, it doesn't matter. We already got the big dime. We already got the b big pearl. No! Ah, dang it! Oh well. You know what that means? Oh, 
I'm abusing the heck out of this. Ah, dang it. All right, let's just capture him. All right. Very good. Uh, might as well just uh, get some more water just to be sure. Now, we want to check the doghouse. And we head on in. And we are in the graveyard. If we check the water drain right here, it'll always give us a ruby, so that's very helpful. I already got three rubies, and that's... I guess that's impressive. Now, we probably... Now, this is probably going to be the most dishonorable thing I, I could ever do. I think this is a game in real life, because I would never do this. But we want to bang on the gravestones. Yeah, kind of dishonorable, if you ask me. I know the spirits in this place are supposed to be evil. But, I don't care. This is still dishonorable in my eyes. Luigi, how could you? I, but I have to do admit, it is hilarious as to when you're capturing the skeleton ghosts. Uh, they have to they hold their heads, which is somewhat funny and somewhat sad at the same time. I'll just burn the bones. Burn the bones! Burn. Gotcha, I gotcha. I see it. I have you, boy. I have you. Aha! Dang it! Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna burn you. Char broil the bones! Char broil the bones! Look at the bones! And in doing so, instead of lighting this place up, it only gets more gloomier. The music has stopped playing. And there's a big card. Th very thankful. You know what that means, people. The gloominess, the emptiness, the fear of uneasiness, and the fact that I'm going at this a different- Now? Okay, I did not know the elemental ghost actually hurt you. That's a first in this game. Well, to be fair, it is actually somewhat smart. But you know what? I like going at this from a different angle!